my name is Katie. Nice to meet you. I'm going to review some movies for you. I'm going to try to do it uh, as often as I can, but um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm, this is my first one, so we'll see what happens. So this is my first video. Not too sure what to say. Start out with a few uh, getting to know you things. Favorite color? Green. Favorite movie? A Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Favorite actor? Johnny Depp. Favorite... Favorite food? Sandwiches. It's about all the favorites I can really think of. I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, show you some of the movies I've been watching recently and tell you a little bit about what I think about them. Oh yeah, I work at a video store. I'm not going to tell you what video store, but if you live in the anywhere in the world, you basically know that there's only one video store still running, really. So, I'm not going to tell you where just because of you know, legal issues, don't want to get fired from my job, that would be not so much. Alright, so here are a few of the movies that I rented this week. This week, got some movies that uh, haven't quite come out yet, to video, at least. So, the first one is, uh, Knowing the Distance with Drew Barrymore and Justin Long. I watched this movie the other day and I was in a kind of, uh, you know, stay at home in bed type of mood. And it was a really good movie to watch if you're in that type of mood because it's a very, like, uplifting, um, lovey-dovey type movie. Uh, I thing I did not like about this movie was the fact that um, Drew Barrymore is supposed to be in San Francisco but then she's going to Stanford and then like every time they show shots of her like at her place like it's always like they show the Golden Gate Bridge in the city when Stanford is like a good 20 minutes away from the city. thought it was peculiar that they decided to do that. Yeah, every I it was all right. It was a pretty good movie. Um for this week, I'd say. Yeah. You could rent it if you're in that type of mood. I'm not going to say it was horrible cuz it wasn't. It was pretty good. It was entertaining and I enjoyed it. So, let's see. I uh don't really know what to should I rate it? So, we're going to do one star equals like really bad. Five stars. That's a pretty, that's like five stars equals Citizen Kane. I'd give Going the Distance maybe two and a half stars. Sounds about right. Two and a half to three. I don't know. I'm a pretty easy critic. Next movie that I rented this week also hasn't come out yet. Um, Night and Day with Cameron Diaz and Tom Cruise. And, uh, you know, as you can see from the back, it's pretty much Tom Cruise in the whole movie with his guns and, and Cameron Diaz just falling all over him. That was pretty much the extent of the movie. Um, literally Newsweek really says that this is easily one of the best films of the summer now I disagree with that because I thought that this was a pretty bad movie honestly I mean I watched the whole thing which I, I rarely turn off movies if I don't like them I'll still sit through it cuz you know whatever I don't know I'd give it like two star one and a half to two and that is being very generous 
because I did not like this very much. It was, it was pretty corny and not my type of thing. So, but yeah. And I like both of those actors too. I was very disappointed a little bit. Next movie. Cover up the... I just came from my said video store job, so I still wearing the uniform. So I'm trying to cover cover myself so you can't see. Conceal my identity. This next movie is not um it's not new actually. It's uh it's been out for a while. Let's see, when was this released? June second. That was when this w was released of 2010. I I discovered this little gem. I was putting away movies one day and I saw it and I was like, what is this? What is this movie? I've never seen this before and it looks like it's animated, which I like animated movies. So I decided to check it out. It's a claymation movie, which is my fave. And so uh popped it in the old DVD player and... Uh, I swear to God, it was the best, like, surprise I've ever had in my life. It was one of the best movies, easily, of, like, of this year, I would say. my One of my favorite movies I've seen this year so far. This, this movie. So, um, yeah, it's called Mary and Max. And it's with, uh... The voices are, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman does one of the voices, um, Eric Bana is another one of the voices. Oh, Tony Collette is the voice of the main, one of the main characters. Tony Collette and, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. I freaking love this movie. It's a little bit slow, but, like, I don't know. I really, like... I didn't think it was that slow. People were telling me, like, who I've, like, talked to about this movie, they were like, oh, it was a little slow, but I loved it. So, if you're, like, super high-strung and can't stand things, maybe you'd think it's slow. But I didn't, and I enjoyed it very much. I would give it four and a half to five stars, because that's how much I loved it. It was so good. It was freaking, it's hilarious. It's the funniest movie Funniest animated movie. It's rated, um, what is it rated? Oh, it's not rated. Not rated at all. Dirt, dirt, dirt. But, uh, yeah. So it's not rated, but there are some, like, um, inappropriate things that are said. Probably not, like, a kid's movie, even though it's animated. People automatically think that, but it's not a kid's movie. It's very adult. There are some crude, there's some crude humor in it, but it's freaking hilarious. I love it. This concludes my movie watching for this week. We'll do one next week. Uh, I'm getting ready to get some new movies tomorrow. Gonna return all these and get some more. And hopefully this will not be the end of this video blog because... I enjoy this and I will be back for more. Hope you're ready for me, YouTube. Have a good day. Mississippi putting it down. I'm the hottest round. I told y'all mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Is you with me now? Then biggie, biggie bounce. I know you dig the way I switch my style. Holla, holla. People sing around, now people gather around, now people jump around.